I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I got another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused zero, by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Ah, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier so right. on the field. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster, sir. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick, get the camera off him! Targets have been secured. We are exfilling via Hilo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. <laughs> the, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them. Oh no, we got a way to do you. Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
gonna roll if we don't find her! Just shut the hell up and search! This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. We've got the time. Wanna tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and what little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? Oh good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wutai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our dwell! Let's go.
was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. feel I have no home so I wouldn't know uh, you still got parents though right a mother named Genova she died shortly after I was born my father oh there Genova like from the Shinra building yeah don't worry I'm getting to that <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Hmm, a soldier. And you are? Richard Zangan, a humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. 
Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh. wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, will do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <sighs> We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! No. Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't- Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Sephiroth, it mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on, where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. 
I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. That was awesome! You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Soldier, you can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. in fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck.
Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird, or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but... <laughs> we should press on. I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. civilians, even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Oh. You 
better keep me safe. Say a few words to your sword first. something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako, all to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going.
Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh. MEGL 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gast Wondrous experiment! He created you? asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner?
If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! Get you up.
I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! 
whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Dunno about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering... What's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're... asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago.
Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. You two fight? No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. 
Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. It's got a backbone. I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Look who it is. You up already? Drink it already? <laughs> No, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. First one will taste good. Damn straight. Especially because I'll be having it with friends at a huge party. Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. Place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? <gasps> Cloud! Over here! Let's get started then, shall we? I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. small it looks it is far away so did something happen between you and Tifa hmm? don't look so shocked we're roommates you know she say something not about you two no still I can tell I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Just 
Transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? I could have just turned this in. history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late! For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. Left, your left, your left, right. 
Bon. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Brady old Buttes pulled up lane. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh? <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. You'd be the avalanche, folks? It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shimmer's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. No sign of Shimmer. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Pleasure to see y'all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. 
Nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgard? Yeah. The Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was... thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. We had. 
But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <laughs> Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Ah, oh, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Not terrible. 
But hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Oh, hey! You're back! I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried, though. What if mine's not as pretty as Mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? We'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Look! You like? It's not the same as Mom's, but yeah, I do! Thank you so much, both of you. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy! Here, for you. Chloe, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, the hell are you people doing here? Ha! <laughs> ah, ah, wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But. Definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that? Hold on, now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you, we found it. Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. <laughs> Hand it over now. Ah, you really think that's enough to intimidate the lights? No, uh, oh, please, it's all your eyes. She's so good as a kid. Play dead! Play dead! Oh, so oh, we're freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh, 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 decoy. Decoy. Oh, decoy means so much. So, who's the decoy? Oh. All of you! That's who! Gentlemen, it has been an honor. If you survive, be back in the hideout! Damn it! Decoys are dead! If that's not well done, I don't know what is. Presenting the finest food you'll uh, ever eat. Quick, crack and burn! You're the best, boss! <laughs> Turned out pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, boys, time to chow in! Ah, they 
Time for this. Just the word, help us. Relax, boys. I've got just the plan. I call it bait in the hook. Yeah, hook get the bait. Me. So, uh, what's the bait? For all intensive purposes, it's you. <laughs> Me? Here, take this. Thanks. Can I eat it? Tuck it for the getcha! Generary tactics. <laughs> okay, you know what to do. <laughs> I bet you couldn't guess who's got it, even if you tried. <laughs> Wrong. What I tell you. The correct answer is. <laughs> Business, 
<laughs> right, let's talk corporate structure. I'm president, and you're my employee. Oh, employees? Employees? Who? My employees! Perks, employees! Wait, what's a boy do anyway? We're buddies? That's cool! Me and the buddies are gonna make our business real big! All right, boys! We got work to do! There's glittering riches out there, and your president's gonna lead you to it! Let's business! Yes, sir, Mr. Press! To the press! So, you think they've turned over a new leaf? Who knows? I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix the... <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up... How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. From Merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgard's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tanks got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. It makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Hey, how you doing? What? Hey, mister. You a winner? Some say. Awesome. That's good enough for me. The name's Fash, and I could really use your help. Truth is, I bungled a Queen's Blood match. Hard. So, not only did my ego take a lickin', but I lost a card near and dear to my heart. What I'm getting at is, I think you'd be able to win it back for me. The Chocobo and Moogle one. It's rare, and the one high-value card in my whole deck. It was the only thing getting me through the daily grind. I mean, the bullshit I have to put up with at this job. The fights, the late nights, the drunks, and that slimy bastard. He... He's... So hey, I get it. I'm a bartender, too. You... You are? So then you know. You're so tough, it can be... Oh, thank you. Thank you. But first, I gotta make sure I'm putting my baby spade in the right hands. Mind if we go around? Okay, that's the kind of skill I'm talking about. You'll beat Virgil no prop! That's the guy you gotta play. The one who took my card. He works at the clock tower. Mine kicking his ass for me. And when you're done, come straight back. I'll have a special cocktail waiting with your name on it. Got this great recipe. I've been itching to try again. Oh, care for a match? We're here for the card you took from the bartender. Ah, the card. So, Vash has resorted to this, hiring people to win his games for it. 
<laughs> Fine, but word of warning, I'm not a pushover like some folks. Ah, damn. I really lost? It was one hell of a match, though. Am I right? You and I are definitely gonna have to play again sometime. But, uh, not today. Gotta run. Hold it. Aren't we forgetting something? <laughs> right, the card. The one I won off Fash, right? Ah, oh, shoot. Which card was that again? Oh, crap, I remember. The Chocobo and Moogle one. So this is kind of awkward, but I don't have it anymore. Is that so? No, seriously, I, I flipped it. I was on my last gill, so I had to sell it to a card collector. A guy named Thorin. He runs this card shop outside of town. Maybe check with him? A merc's job is never done, am I right? Hey there. You folks buying or selling? We're here for the Chocobo and Moogle card. Of course you are. Hate to break it to you, but ain't no way I'm giving up that butte. At least, not to some dabbler who fancies himself a collector. Unless you more than dabble. Tell you what, you beat me, and that card is all yours. So, you game? <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. Hey, glad to see Shinra hasn't caught you yet. Seeing as you're here, mind help me with something? I'm Oliver, by the way, owner of this farm. Got fiend trouble. Every night it comes after my livestock. At least I assume a fiend's to blame. Think you could find and deal with it? Not much, save the bastard's smart as hell. Managed to evade every trap I've set. Even hired a hunter to get rid of it, but that was a bust. The ecosystem here is something special. Worth protecting. Don't want Shinra messing it up. And I'm not afraid to say so out loud. One day, some like-minded folks came around. They put me in touch with Broden and Avalanche. Impressive the way that committee is able to connect people. Appreciate it. That your dog there? Might have a bet him? I don't. But he might. Who's a good boy? It's you. <laughs> Something tells me he's not all bark. Hey, you know, your pup might be able to track the fiend's scent. Maybe try sniffing around the scene of the crime. You got him, did you? Made that bastard pay? Nice go. And I bet you were a big help too, weren't you? <laughs> You'll be singing a different tune when you see what I got for you. Here. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Changing gears a bit, but uh, I heard Rhodes not feeling so hot. If you swing by calm again, mind checking on him? Someone say Merc? I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. Well, is that Cloud? <sighs> but I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is, uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for him together? Hell no. I could really use a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you. I swear I'll do anything. Anything? All right. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so 
these are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there is the bare minimum. So, any questions? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Sweet! See you soon! I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for screws and bolts. Did you find what we need? Holy mother of scrap metal! Way to go, guys! When we're finished, that pipe will be good as new! I bet we could even charge extra! <laughs> now then, follow me, would you? Let's not keep my money, I mean, the pipe, waiting. Well, here we are! And you're sure that you can fix this? Huh. You shouldn't underestimate an Undercity girl. I can spin garbage into gold, and will. Stay back. Damn! That was a tough pass. Rocco probably mutated her. Look at Mr. Know-It-All. <laughs> okay, that ought to do it. Mission accomplished. And my reward <laughs> Let's go and grab a drink. Celebrate the birth of our great mercenary union. Forget our deal already? <laughs> Come on, fellow Merc. And you're brawn? We can clean up! You're not your fellow anything. Oh, stop being such a tight ass! The point is, I can help you! I can talk you up! Please, don't. Uh -huh. Well, since you're the only merc in town, guess this one's all hey, yours! get back here! Oh, you're back. I guess that means you managed to shake Shinra. We heard that you've been feeling under the weather lately. Word gets around fast. I didn't expect you to worry about me. But since you're here, can I ask you a favor? A friend of mine wanted me to help her fix one of the old Republic windmills, but... I'm at no condition to do that. Do you think you could instead? I think we should help. If not for him... We'd probably be back in Hojo's lab. You know, headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. Sounds pretty crazy, saying it aloud. I was a company grunt years ago. But when my parents died, I got out to take care of the family business. Been running the place ever since. I'll spare you the grisly details. And just say they stole my life from me. My family. My home. Is that reason enough for you? But I thought Calm was your home. Not anymore. This isn't the Calm I grew up in. My Calm was destroyed by Shinra. And this, a soulless imitation. But I stayed. Because I won't let myself forget what those bastards took. <laughs> Living in hate can poison a man. Thank you. My friend's name is Mildred. You should be able to find her somewhere around the old settlement, out on the cliffside. Look for the windmills. There you are. I heard everything from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> Sounds like you still got competition, Burke. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. 
insisted that her fellow mercs be compensated. You did it! You got my baby back! To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. And considering just how many I've lost, one this rare is definitely wasted on me. Here, it's probably better off with you. Really? But only until I've gotten good enough to win it back. Whew. That's a weight off my mind. Right, enough of that. How about I fix you two your drinks? So, this guy moved here recently from Midgar, left after the Sector 7 tragedy. You know how it is. Anyway, he kept raving about this incredible cocktail served at a famous bar in the other city. Seventh Heaven. I don't know if you heard of the joint. They called it the Cosmo Canyon. It's pretty, don't you think? Go on, drink up. Thanks. You know, that was just what I needed. You knew you'd like it. Although, apparently, my version pales in comparison to the Undercity original. So much so, the guy flat out refuses to order it again. Pinch of salt. That'll give it the kick it needs, trust me. Salt, huh? Hey, that's pretty clever. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. Wait, don't tell me. You're the one who invented the Cosmo Canyon, aren't you? You're that Seventh Heaven bartender. Not today, but someday soon. When we do open up a new place, swing by. I'll make you a Cosmo Canyon myself. <laughs> okay, but I'm holding you to that. I'll be there opening night with bells on. Promise. Did Broden send you? I'm glad for the company. Ain't she a sight to behold? A relic of the Republic of Junon. Shinra can't make them like this, let me tell you. I'm itching to scrape the rust off, get her moving again. Easier said than done, unfortunately. The rotor's missing a key component, one that's a bitch to find. Which is where you come in. I'm gonna need your help to get me that part. So, what do you want to know? We go way back. Like, way back. The two of us skipped town when we were young, you know? Thought we'd experience what the world had to offer. Eventually, we went our separate ways. He joined the military, and I became an engineer. Not through any shop, that's for sure. It's out of production, so you'll have to make it yourself. So, first things first, the transmuter chip. Once you got that squared away, it should be as easy as popping in the materials you need. Piece of cake, right? Step one was scoring a transmuter chip, which you did. So now we put that baby to work. As for the ingredients, you'll need to bag the Quetzal bottle, this rare burr, to get what you need. Not that anyone's seen it lately. Sure Shinra's to blame for that, too. But maybe you'll have better luck. Time to tap into some life springs. Yeah. Well, turned out he was a natural-born trooper. Was even hand-picked to take part in a super-secret experiment. It wasn't long after that we lost contact. By the time we reconnected, he'd already put that life behind him. What experiment? I have to ask him, though I doubt he'd tell you. Certainly won't tell me, at any rate. Whatever they did to him, though, has something to do with his condition. I just know it. He's been to doctor after doctor, but all the tests come back inconclusive. So I'm digging through old Republic archives, looking for something that might help, something a doctor might overlook. Just hope I find what he needs soon. Windmill's counting on you, friend. Now that is a quality design. No Shinra knockoffs can compare to Republic ingenuity. Okay, time to see if she works. Incredible! Wow. The 
blades are spinning! Actually spinning! What a sight! Oh, I can't wait to find out how much power it can generate! I wish Perlin was here for this. He'd have loved to see these windmills working again. Maybe one day. Well, anyway, thank you. You've helped me fulfill a dream of mine. Guess you're heading back to Calm? What's the plan? When you see Broden, you tell him, hurry up and get better, would ya? We got a whole wide world to see. Or something along those lines. That's so. <laughs> if Mildred's happy, I'm happy. She said you've got a world to see. <laughs> she just wants an excuse to travel. But I am overdue for a vacation. Think I've been working myself too hard lately. Rest would do you good. What is this terrible scent? It's reminiscent of Hojo's lab. It's time. Time to go. To leave. You okay? It's just the degradation. Every soldier's got to make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex-soldier, actually. Didn't mean to scare you. The symptoms aren't always the same. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right? You only get one shot at life. And you can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. Over there! It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? Come on. Is that dry land I see? Let's go.
Wakey, wakey. You remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. <sighs> He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh. Forget it. You guys need to focus. Accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to. I mean, thank you. <clears throat> hmm. You keep track of the other roads now, you hear? Of course. instructed to take some time to himself to relax recuperate hmm. correct me if i'm wrong but that sounds Wait. a lot like a nice long all expenses paid vacation well more or less lucky hardly he's bored out of his mind seriously what are we even doing here <sighs> sorry but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <gasps> Sharp ears. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> no. 
No freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. <laughs> 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 Rude! Just like we practiced. Gotcha! Hands in the air! Right now! Better keep that toy where I can see it. Lest you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. a quick dip to get the crime off. Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Well now, look who it is. Uh, hey guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see. Appreciate it. 
Two grand! And don't you forget. Staircase. Thank you kindly. <sighs> hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away. Right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True. But don't forget. Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they would get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. territory. Come on. 